This is Cougar football. Jeremiah, how big is the Apple Cup for you? Oh, real big. I mean, I know a lot of guys over at UW, um, and uh, it's the rivalry game. It's what Coach Wilson says, the state championship game. So it's real big, and um, you know, I just want to give our fans something that they've been longing for. So, so, so the coaches kind of acknowledge at times that it's, it's a little bigger? Um, mm, most definitely. I mean, Coach Wilson really harped on it uh, last night. I mean, he said one thing you want to do is, uh, I mean, it's for year-round bragging rights. So, of course, the Apple Cup is a big game for us, and uh, our fans really deserve it. Does this kind of increase the impact that it's also the last game of the season? Uh, most definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, our freshman year, my, our, well, my freshman year, um, we uh, won the Apple Cup as well, and uh, you've seen how our season turned out my sophomore year. So, I mean, the Apple Cup is a, a game that can, uh, in my opinion, dictate the next year for us. What have you seen out of uh, Shaq Thompson as far as a two-way player? Uh, I know you guys probably haven't watched much film yet, but just from watching, you know, casually throughout the past couple seasons, he's pretty good. Yeah, Sha Shaq is a good player. He's a he's a good athlete, and um, I mean, I look forward to playing against a premier athlete like him. Do you remember anything about the ending of last year's Apple Cup? I remember Daryl Monroe kind of took exception to the way UW and their players handled the win. Um, do you remember anything about that post-game celebration for them? Uh, uh, not really. Um, it's a rivalry game, and um, I mean, our fans are our fans. I love them. Defensively, uh, because you know you guys might get riled up trying to go after these guys. And do you have to worry about any you know, extra 15-yard penalties, things like that, that are personal fouls? It's a rivalry game, so whatever happens, happens. And uh, what do you think has been the reason why you guys uh, you know haven't forced a lot of turnovers this year? Uh, I'm not really sure about that one. Jeremiah, on Saturday, to, to go from you know, six three and outs and then the, the struggles after turnovers, what, what was happening defensively? <laughs> I mean, ASU just came out and executed uh, their plays, I guess. And they came out and wanted it more, in my opinion. Did it seem different when you would go out there after a turnover, after an interception, as opposed to uh, you know, at the beginning of the game when you guys looked great and, and possessions on defense af that weren't after turnovers? Uh, well, we went out in the first half uh, after turnovers and, you know, after the punt situation happened and we uh, held them to no point. So, I mean, it doesn't matter where they put us on the field, we should be able to come out and, you know, get the stop. In, in the second half after those turnovers, did you feel like everyone on the defense was, was ready to go back out? Were they kind of taken by surprise? Uh, I don't want to say so much taken by surprise. We were on the sideline, you know, making adjustments, and uh, you know, have to having to you know get up and run back out there is kind of a shock. But I mean, we want to we want to be in those situations, and we practice them in practice, so it shouldn't be a surprise to any of us. Jeremiah, can you speak to the Apple Cup experience, and does it feel different out there? I mean, is it more intense in the trenches? Oh, the, the atmosphere is different. Um, I mean, you know, it, the state is separated by two schools, Washington and uh, Washington State. And uh, I mean, you know, everyone's going to be tuned into that game. It's a late game and it's on a Saturday this year. So, um, I mean, everyone's going to be tuned into that game and this year around bragging rights. And, you know, coming in as a freshman, I really didn't know the tradition of the, the Apple Cup. But, I mean, playing in, you know, a couple of them, having won one, lost one, is a really big game to people around here, and it means a lot to a lot of people around here. So, uh, you know, we just want to play with our hairs on fire and um, come out victorious. Is it difficult to stress that important to freshmen and people who haven't been on the field? Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of them in this game, or is it something that is like you're going to find out and find out quickly? Uh, yeah, you're going to find out quickly. Like, you know, the guy in the other color that won't be mentioned, uh, they don't like you. And, um, you know, you have to take on that mentality as well. We don't like you as well. I mean, after the game, you know, it's all, you know, love or lack thereof. But um, on the field, it's something totally different. Going back to two years ago, the game here, do you remember the crowd being a little more, you know, UW having more fans here than most road teams do? Was it a little, a little more 50-50 or 60-40-ish? Uh, I'm not really sure. All I've seen was a, a sea of crimson. Um, I don't really know about the other color. Uh, I just see the crimson, and um, 
basically, can I just take a sidebar? Hello, Kashay Palacio. I see you in the room. Just want to acknowledge your presence. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, our fans, like I said, deserve, you know, this win, and we're going to do everything in our power to give it to them. Had you ever worn the color purple before you came here? No, I haven't. Never? No, I, I don't I like the color purple. <laughs> Jeremiah, as, a, as an out-of-state guy, how were you kind of made aware of the importance of this game? Uh, well, basically, after winning the Apple Cup my freshman year, um, my godbrother, J.D. Mickens, he plays for UW, and uh, I went out there for the summer vacation and, um, you know, just hung out with them. And, you know, I, I'm going to rock my crimson gear because we won. And I'm, even if we look, I'm going to rock my crimson gear. And, you know, they just looked down upon me. Like, they didn't want to say hi to me. Like, here is a good atmosphere in Pullman. Like, you know, everyone say hi to you and, you know, acknowledge your presence there. They just look down on you like you're not really there, like you're invisible. So, I mean, after I felt the disrespect, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And, Jeremiah, not to say that you need motivation to play the game. I'm sure you're intense every day, but... Do you bring that fire into this game? I mean, do you feel it differently in the pregame and getting on the field? And do you feel that from the players and your teammates? Most definitely. I mean, um, it's a game that was circling on the calendar. And um, it was a game that, in my opinion, we let get away from us last year. So uh, by all means necessary, we need to get this win. And um, I mean, we need to bring back the Apple Cup where it belongs. Jeremiah, do you feel like you guys have a little more to play for? I mean, UW knows they have a bowl game. For you guys, this is it, and maybe this is your bowl game this season. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, it, it, it is our, our game. We have to win, and, I mean, it just makes it that much better as our rivalry game. So, uh, like I said in the beginning, we don't like them, and I'm sure they don't like us. So, uh, it is what it is. Any questions on the line for Jeremiah? <coughs> Yeah, Jeremiah Fun Withers here from the Seattle Times. I just wondered if, if you and Jay Don had exchanged any texts or anything this week. Uh, well, we we don't talk until the 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 air is settled. Um, however, um, I did uh, reach out to him. Um, you know, his his grandmother was going through some certain uh, health issues, so I made sure he was okay on that accord. But uh, other than that, you know, we don't talk until after the heat is settled. What do you uh, what do you remember about Pole's interception two years ago, Jeremiah? <laughs> I mean, it was it was the only thing I was thinking in my head was Rumble, young man, Rumble. Uh, <laughs> that, that was the only thing I was thinking in my head. And then you know, ha having him get caught at the three yard line, I I, I realized that uh, you know he he is that big man. So <laughs> other than that, uh, it just it, it gave us both excitement and hope for this program. <clears throat> Any other questions on the line for Jeremiah? Uh, linebacker Cache Palacio has joined the, the media ranks. So one question from Cache Palacio. Um, losing that ping pong game five minutes ago to Cache Palacio, has that affected you in any way? <laughs> Marshawn Lynch answer, no. <laughs> 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 any other questions for Jeremiah? Jeremiah, I don't know. You looked at a lot of film, but what do you know about this offense, and what can you tell me about the quarterback situation, or you know, handling the rushing game? Uh, well, um, you know, having you know known a lot of these guys just by going up there and hanging out with them, um, it, it's both exciting to play against them. Um, I know uh, uh, Dwayne; uh, he's a running back number twelve. He runs pretty hard, uh, and um, Shaq Thompson, like us, like we talked about. Earlier, he's a really good running back, and you know, Peters, Coach Peterson, he wants to throw you know different looks at you know the opposing defense. So I mean, we just have to stay mentally prepared for it and stay on our p's and q's and uh, make stops like you know we were at the first half of the last game. Jeremiah, you kind of saw it in twelve, but uh, how much does it help that this game's at Martin Stadium this year for you? Guys? Oh man, it's a, it's a big you know difference, um, and it's a it's on Saturday at night. Uh, I'm sure our fans going to come out and, you know, have this place rocking and it's our last game. So we want to send the seniors out with, you know, that, that luxury of uh, being a winner. And um, it's important. It's a house. It's a house. It's a home game. So we got to uh, play well for our home fans.
I know you're new to the rivalry, but is do you have a favorite Apple Cup moment, or is 2012 your favorite Apple Cup moment, or what? Uh, favorite Apple Cup moment? I have probably two. Um, one was uh, tackling my god brother did on uh, last, uh, my freshman year, and then the, the next one is of course uh, winning it. I mean, having them storm the field. Uh, you know, the the fans. Uh, you know, are really supportive. And, I mean, me personally, I actually play for the fans. And uh, I'm sure a lot of us do as well. We want to make sure our, our fans are happy. So, um, I mean, you know, I just want to get ready to storm the field this week.